All new at 10 tonight, one upstate school district passed a resolution urging the South Carolina General Assembly to repeal its ban on mask mandates. District 56 says they don't necessarily plan to mandate face masks in schools, but they want the issue to be left in the hands of each district across the state. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer live in Clinton, where Lawrence District 56 just wrapped up their board meeting tonight. So break down what happened in that meeting. Well, Cody, the school district voted in favor of the resolution, which allows the General Assembly to uh, allow school districts to make their own decisions about mask mandates. If even we approve of it, it is out of our hands because presently the General Assembly has the proviso in place. According to the proviso, no school district or any of its schools may use state funds to enforce mask mandates in any of its facilities this school year. We reached out to the South Carolina School Boards Association and found out they drafted a resolution all school boards could use after multiple districts requested their help. Lawrence District 56 discussed the issue at their board meeting tonight. That proviso would have to then be rolled back. We have no control over that. And we would also then be, as I understand it, district by district to determine whether it would be in the best interest of the district. To have mass. The resolution states South Carolina is among the top 10 states in the nation, having the highest number of COVID-19 cases per capita, averaging 5,500 cases a day. And the number of children requiring hospitalization for COVID in the state is rising at an alarming rate. The resolution claims the proviso has become a barrier, limiting school boards and superintendents when they are considering COVID-19 safety measures for students and staff. The superintendent says the resolution asks for the ability for districts to make their own decision. It's not necessarily negating Proviso 1.108 to say that masks would automatically be reinforced. We would just have the autonomy to make a decision. Well, the district says at least 37% of their students have been through at least one quarantine. And tonight, they announced new contact tracing procedures. Cody and Tori, back to you. Berkeley, thanks. And again, for the latest updates, you can download our free Fox Carolina News app. You can find us in the App Store or on Google Play.